Welcome back YouTube. Um, today I want to go over putting together or how to assemble this Husky six foot uh, workbench. It's a 72 inch model number there is G7200S. You got the item numbers there if you want to search on the Home Depot app for it. Um, so basically the this is the instructions here. The instructions are not the greatest um, got the box here. I didn't want to do an unboxing of everything, but basically you got everything. You got your tabletop here. It's the one inch. This is the, the really thick one. This is the, the solid one inch tabletop, which is the stronger one. They do have another version that's like five eighths or something like that. Um, this is the adjustable height. Um, so they adjust from like 28 to 42 inches, I believe. I'm not mistaken um, so anyways when you pull open the box you got all the parts on top you remove those and then you're left with this tabletop on the bottom so you leave that there just like I have here still in the box I just open the box around it so you're gonna assemble it like this so you don't scratch the top of it up um, so you got these two pieces here which I've already bolted down um, they're interchangeable they can go on either side uh, one thing you have to do note for the orientation that the instructions are kind of vague on is There's going to be a front and back to this tabletop Which it would have been nice if they had at least put an arrow or a sticker or something on there indicating which side was the front um, Would have made it a whole lot simpler So what you have to do is you have to see these holes here There's one two there's One two three four there's five on each side um, you have them right there and they go all the way down um, And then on this side you have five holes as well, but if you'll notice on this side, they're closer to the edge So this side you got more of a gap right here. This larger gap is going to be the front because this piece here It's going to go on the front that says husky and It's going to bolt across here on this front and it's going to be recessed in a little bit further so you can put you know a vice clamps on the front lip it's going to overhang so this back edge when you put this piece here and you got two for the back and you got one for the front so when you place this in those holes there uh, in the back it's going to be hard to see it's going to be flush with the back so once you determine that which is the front and the rear then you want to position these um, you'll notice on these on the, the ends right here there's a recess for this post this lip right here on the other side you'll notice it's flush there is no lip so this flush side you want on the back um, same thing on the other side you want to put that flush end on the back and you want this lip on the front so once you've done that you're all good to go from there it's pretty easy selling from there so i've already secured these you got these four bolts two on each side um, for each post i've already tightened those down now the next step is going to be to put in your legs the extender legs the adjustable legs they're going to fit down in this square tubing one thing i am questioning the on the quality on this is they did a good job coating the outside of this but if you look down in here it's hard to see on camera uh, especially in the shade right here but inside this in tubing uh, they did a poor job coating it and you can actually see a little bit of rust forming in there already uh, same thing if you look down in these holes so it doesn't look like they dipped these they just coated the outside the coating does seem durable on the outside though um, Time will tell how long that will hold up. As long as there's no moisture getting in there, it should be fine over time. Um, so they don't rust out from the inside out. Um, so you got these two legs over here, which I've already screwed the, the feet into. Um, one thing, the only thing you have to watch for on these is if you look on this side, you'll see these two holes here. Um, that's going to go towards the rear for that second um, 
brace that goes all the way across there, that long brace. And you got that second additional one for the rear. So you gotta make sure these holes are facing towards the rear, uh, which is gonna be the opposite side there. So I'm gonna slide these in here. Now, it's hard to do it one hand and film at the same time, but you got these holes here and they make cabinets, Husky does, to fit underneath this table. Um, the cabinets, I think they're like 28 inch cabinets. So if you leave 13 holes exposed here, if you count these holes from the bottom all the way up, if, if you, well, if you leave 10 of them, you can get the cabinets underneath there, but, but if you leave 13 exposed, that's gonna make it a little bit taller and you can get the cabinets with the casters underneath it. Um, I did some calculations. So the 13 is actually gonna be, come out to where the tabletop's gonna be about right at 40 inches height. Um, that's where I wanna keep it anyways. So that's where I'm gonna put it at. I'm just gonna count 13 holes on each side and put my bolts through these uh, two holes here. And go ahead and do that. It's gonna be hard to do. Actually, I'm gonna pause it and, so I can do this because it's gonna be hard. I need my other hand and I'll come back once I get the bolts in. All right, so I got these legs put in here. Um, so like I was saying here, you wanna, it's kinda hard with this lighting here. Let me see if I can, on this side. So you just count these 13 holes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I got thirteen ho holes exposed before I get into the other part here. You want to make sure it's the same all the way around on all four sides. That's the the other side there. Now put these hex bolts through. Put a washer on the back side. Put a washer and a nut on the inside. I uh, did that for this side as well. So I haven't tightened these down yet. Um, the tools you will need to tighten those down is a, I got a 14 millimeter wrench here and I got a 14 millimeter socket to hold one, hold the nut and on the other end. Uh, you could use two wrenches, two ratchets, whatever. Um, but you will need a 14 millimeter for those. Um, as far as the other bolts that are gonna go in these holes to bolt these uh, beams on, and these right here are all these little hex bolts they give you. Now these, they give you an Allen key they supply, and they give you this little hex for your um, impact here, which I put in there to drive those posts on. So you wanna tighten these down. You don't wanna over tighten them because this metal is kind of thin. It is cheap Chinese steel. Uh, I wish it was American grade steel, but it's hard to find anything made in the USA anymore. Um, but it is pretty solid, another, even though uh, it's not the strongest steel though, it's not the heaviest gauge, but it, it is pretty secure. So, um, we'll be sturdy when it's all put together. I did go ahead and screw these four posts down. I, I tightened them in all the way. And I'll adjust those once I flip it over and put it on the ground. If it's uneven, I'll loosen some out accordingly to get it sit level and flush on the floor if I need to. Um, but they are adjustable and they do screw out pretty pretty good ways, probably a good four or five inches. Um, so now I'm gonna put these panels on. Um, this one, like I said, goes on the front. It says, it's got the Husky logo. So you're gonna set it up here. i get this protectant thing out of the way. It's hard to do with one hand. So you got these notches cut out here. Uh, it's gonna sit right in there like that. Get the tools out of the way. And you got this notch here, so it's gonna sit like that. So you got two hex bolts are gonna go in there. Then you got five going across here. And then you got two more on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in and tighten those down. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the backside. The backside doesn't have the logo on it. And like I said, you'll see this 
this front piece how it sits you got this lip right here that's so you can attach uh, vice clamps uh, you can attach them to that lip you want that on the front side the back side is going to be flush so I'm going to go ahead and put those screws in and get it all snugged up and then I'll come right back alright so I pre started all my little bolts here hex bolts by hand I like to start them all by hand and make sure everything's lined up uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my end pack and just secure them all I'm going to start with these outside ones I got this impact on a low setting. You don't want to over tighten these and strip them out. Just a little snug like that. Come over to this side, make sure this side's in. Now I'm going to go and Get all these ones here on the inside and just snug them down. Probably going to push on a little bit in the center here just to get it. Because um, you do have a little bit of room, wiggle room back and forth. Not much, just a little bit, but I am going to push it in as far as I can before I tighten them down. And then I'm going to go um, come back and do the, the back side. Alright, so I got that front one all tightened down there. Now I'm going to come in and put this back one on. Like I said, you got these. Same thing, you got these little notches right here on each end. It's gonna fit around those posts. And you're gonna line these holes up here um, with that hole there for the, the bolt, the threaded hole. Set that in there like so. And those holes line up where you put your bolts in there all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start all these by hand again. I'll be right back. All right, so I got this rear one on. Like I said, it sits flush on the back side. And then got all these bolts, hex bolts started by hand so they don't strip out or anything. Now I'm just going to go ahead and snug them down with my impact driver here. Same thing, I'm going to come to the ends first. Set the phone down just a minute so I can get this one pushed in for. Alright, so on these here, you got a little slight movement there, pushing it in. I don't know if you can see that I'm holding it still enough. It's not much, but I just like to push it in. Um, and hold it there and tighten it down so it's in flush as can be. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and be right back, tighten it down. Alright, got that one snug. I'm going to hit the rest of these with the impact real quick. Got that all good and tight. So we do have this additional one for the rear. Um, like I said, that one's gonna go in these bolts here. You got these two bolts on the back side. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. Can't do it with the one hand. I need both hands to hold it up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then come back and show you what it looks like. All right, I got this top bracket here on. So on this end, you got the you got the notch here, cuts out around this post. You got the two 
bolts there you come down on this end same thing you got this notch cut out here and two bolts here so i'm gonna go ahead and hit those with the impact snug those up and that's pretty much going to be it um they did give me one extra one of these hex bolts which is nice they didn't short me um, that way if you lose one i don't know if they give everybody an extra one in every package or not if it was just a miscount but um hopefully they give everybody an extra one um so once i'm gonna snug this up real quick Same thing on this side. So that's pretty much it there. Everything's all snug and tight now. Um, basically, the only thing is left is to flip this thing over. I got my feet on here, so I just need to flip it over, then adjust these feet and then screw them out. I'm screw in and out. You see the there's threaded feet here. They screw out pretty good length, probably a good five to six inches. Um, so like I said, just got to flip this over. I'm going to attempt to do this myself, even though I recommend using two people because this is a six foot workbench, so it's going to be awkward. I'm going to try to grab it in the center and flip it over myself just because I don't have anybody here at the moment to help me do that. So that's all that's left and then put it in place. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's a pretty, pretty solid piece. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Time will tell if it holds up, but you can get this in an eight foot um, length as well. This is the six foot. I would make sure you get the one inch uh, thick uh, top. They do make it non-adjustable or this, you can't adjust the height here. It's just, they make it a version that's not adjustable. Um, do recommend the adjustable version to set the height you know for the workbench that you want um like i said make sure you get the one inch because it does come in a i can't remember if it's a half inch or five eighths but this is the solid one inch thick work top which is going to be a lot stronger i think this one's rated for like three thousand pounds um, so that's pretty much it i hope everybody enjoyed this and if you thinking about getting this or you are going to get this or you already got it and need help putting it together I hope this helps you. All right, we'll see you on the next one.